entire universe in a goddamn fucking building, okay? So, y'all, my video is going to be a little different nowadays because I'm working for the fucking man. I'm joking. But, nah, it's so funny. I have so many things I want to share with y'all, but I'm going to just kind of let this video flow and see what comes out. <laughs> the point is, maybe it's two different points, but my first point is it's not your job to uphold other people's perceptions and expectations of you i'm gonna tell y'all a conversation that i had today and i was about to tweet it but i was like bro i got so much to say i gotta get it off my chest because you know so i'm having a co uh a conversation with my co-workers mainly just one of my one co-worker we all work together but like just different departments so i'm having a conversation and we're talking about a, a plethora of topics and they keep complaining about how in our indigenous men go for white women and i'm like for real, for real if you focus on stupid shit like that then that's all you're gonna see because for real i don't really see that shit nowadays i see it sometimes in the the place that i work but i mean i don't really i don't really care for shit like that I don't really agree with inter interracial relationships. That's kind of lessening our species, our organic genetics. But that's not what the fuck I'm talking about. So we get to a point, we talk about young people, all these uh, all these different things where I can't even remember where it started. But um, I mentioned a common saying, common folk, because I be having to dumb it down sometimes. And I was like, um, that I'm an old soul because I don't, because I am one, but because like, I don't perceive things the way that regular people my age do. And I, yeah, you know, I just have a lot of wisdom, intuitive guidance from my guardians, you know? So they like, oh, no, you ain't no old soul, this and that. And I'm just like, you know, I'm glad I know who the fuck I am. Because, one, I didn't even ask for their opinions. But, two, it's like, bro, people be lost. The crowd is lost. Common folk do not know who the fuck they are. It's like, bro, I know who I am. You can't tell me who I am. You know, tell yourself who the fuck you are. Another one, that was that was like an example of you. It's not your job to uphold their expectations of you. I'm not a regular fucking young person. I don't care to be what somebody else expects me to fucking be, bro. I don't care. Um, what the fuck else happened? Oh yeah, so we were talking about something, and I was telling them like how I how I used to be. A fucking alcoholic in my teenage years like I ain't even get specific and I don't really talk about all the shit that I've been through unless I need to you know cause there's a time and a place for everything and I'm sitting there fucking having lunch like I don't care to talk about that and it's so much you know and they be interrupting conversations anyway we all just kind of be like talking over each other not healthy dialogue but it's healthy dialogue you get what I'm saying we just we just be so fucking excited so Oh, yeah, so, okay. She said some shit. One of them said some. It's three of us total. And she was like, I didn't know you been through all that, you know? And I was like, I don't know. I said some shit, but I was like, it don't matter now. And she got offended. So we started talking about how they perceived me as being defensive. Because I said, it doesn't matter now, you know? Like, I'm not saying what, I, what I've been through doesn't matter. It's just, I don't care to talk about it right then and there. Because it's no fucking point, bro. Like, we're having a bunch of random small talk conversations. What the fuck am I going to start talking about my whole life story for? You know? So they took that as me being defensive, but also me not being willing to s reflect and share. And it's like, bro, y'all niggas don't know me, bro. So I had to just kind of like kind of tell them that it's like bro y'all don't know me bro like y'all keep y'all can perceive me as this type of person 
y'all can perceive me as being defensive because I stand very firm on what I say. Like, I don't care what you got to say. I don't care if I'm the only fucking person out of, like, billions of people that believe in what I believe in. That's just what it is, nigga. Oh, well, you know? And I just thought that was fucking hilarious. I thought that was fucking hilarious. Because people don't really... They're never honest enough to tell me what they think about me or how they perceive me. But I'm like, damn, all I'm doing is being myself, bro. Y'all perceiving me as being this fucking person that's, like, really closed off. That shit crazy. Because I'm so open, you know? But I'm like, if that's how y'all fucking feel, if that's how you want to see me, bro, then that's what it is. Because I don't care to try to change your opinion. Like, it's like trying to defend yourself against people that are bound on well bent on misunderstanding you i don't give a fuck how nobody perceive me i don't give a fuck bro that's not my job like i don't care and i'm not gonna give my energy to shit that i don't care about and and things that i'm not gonna give my energy to that's just what it is so that makes someone defensive If I don't want to talk about something, I'm not going to talk about it. If that makes me defensive, then so fucking be it, okay? That's really the gist, though. Like, I really wanted to make this video to share with y'all. Because, like, all I do on on this channel, bruh, I be sharing my personal experiences and shit. So y'all can learn. You know? People just love to try to paint me as the bad guy. Oh, that was another topic that I remembered. I was just like, damn, like, now I see... How people can paint me as the bad guy in all of their fucking stories. Like, perceptions, bro. And I'm just like, bro, all of the... Oh, yeah, this lady. This lady. One of the other ladies that I was sitting with and speaking with. She was trying to tell me... They were trying to tell me that because I'm young, I don't know what I know. And that I was speaking on... Oh, my God, I have so much to say. Okay. I was speaking on how I enjoy my solitude. I'm a Scorpio, y'all. I'm going to just tell you right now. I enjoy being alone a lot. And now I've gotten to the point where, like, I enjoy my company so much. It's like, if you're not better company than me, if we're not vibrating on the same frequency, or if you're not vibrating higher, yo, like, what the fuck do I need to be around you for? If you're not beneficial for me, if I'm not getting anything out of it, I don't need to be around you. Like, getting things out of it, not in a greedy way. It's just everything is give and take. So if I ain't getting shit, you gonna be taking shit. And I don't fucking... Ain't nobody gonna be getting my energy for free, bitch. Fuck no. So I was speaking on how I enjoy my solitude, right? And then we were speaking mainly in relationships and shit. And, uh... uh, Ooh. And one of the ladies twisted my words and was like, I said, I don't need people. I'm like, bro, it's just trying to paint me as this person, bro. Like, I'm reflecting because I always reflect on everything, bro. Like, shit just be replaying in my head until I'm like, all right, well, I'm good because I know how I feel about it. And I'm not taking it personal. Um, Yeah, I'm going I'm to just leave that one there. It's like niggas was just twisting my words, trying to make it... It's like the way they perceive things was not how, like, I fucking said it at all. It's like people be expecting you to fucking beat around the bush. I'm so honest, people be thinking I'm lying. It's like if I say something, that's exactly what I mean. And if I'm telling you what I meant by it, that's exactly what I mean. There is no fucking hidden agenda with me. I don't care. I don't care enough to have a hidden agenda. For real. Like. Fuck. Okay. What was the other topic? So we were talking about that solitude. And she was. They was trying to tell me that like. I don't know what I want. That me enjoying my solitude means that like. I feel like I don't need people. And that I just haven't lived enough life. I'm not an old soul. And I don't know all the things that I do know. And I'm like bro. It's not my job to sit right here and break down who I am to y'all. Like, if you want to think I'm a common fucking person, that's your misconception, bro. And I'm going to leave it at that. Like, if you can't 
if you're not on my frequency, you're not going to be able to get it. You call me crazy. I'll be fucking crazy, okay? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> um, am I done? Yeah, this is kind of just be better. But I'll be all of that. All of that is the same, um, the same focal points. It's not my job to withhold, to uphold other people's expectations of me, their perceptions of me. I'm not going to make you perceive me as the person that I truly am. If you want to see me as this person, fuck it. Like, go for it, bro. See how, how that works out for you, you know? Like my father says in other news. <laughs> but fuck. What is that? I got scared as fuck. I don't know what the fuck that is. I feel like mango skin or some shit. I don't know, y'all. But, um. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something else that's very fucking interesting. Because y'all know I be on some holistic health shit. My whole entrepreneurial shit is just me. Holistic health, teaching that, being a yoga instructor, all of these different things to help you heal your body in in natural ways with the natural elements that we've been given, bro. And the the company that I work for is a bunch of different laboratories, but they help develop the vaccine shit. So I'm just like, that's so funny. Because when I was younger, I wanted to be a scientist, but now I'm just like, I can't, bro. Unless I'm like developing new new things new fucking i don't even know because i don't i don't know i don't know we could put like a tincture in a damn syringe shoot it up in you that's as far as i can get with you because i can't do no chemicals in the body and shit i mean unless you do need chemicals in the body see i'm getting all off topic i be thinking about the new types of projects and the new developments of medicine modern medicine because our body is chemicals, you know? 12 12. <laughs> Gratitude. Our body is chemicals. And something else that's funny radiation. We are radioactive, okay? Everything around us, we need radiation. Now, I'm going to make another video when I get, when I'm called to do that, when I get more information. Because everything, everything. It's radiation or radioactive. So, peace, love to y'all, prosperity. I love y'all so much. I haven't talked to y'all. I haven't seen you guys in so long. <laughs> um, yeah, keep your head up. Stay balanced. Stay well. Uh, peace be with you. I wish you well. I wish you well. Peace, love, and kisses. Hugs and kisses. Peace.